Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in one of my favourite pubs, uh, the Railway in Putney, uh, about to recite uh, my latest poem, which I did in the early hours of this morning. It's called Irrational Behaviour. It seems to happen mostly when I allow myself reluctantly to be cajoled by others into believing that my behavior lies on the parameters of irrationality. I am constantly encouraged for my own good, I am assured, by considerates around me who see my position as aggravating preferring me to be more integrated within my community and its surroundings. They see my progressive solitude as threatening in spirit, negative to say the least, explain that it is perceived to be unfriendly and detrimental to my well-being. I try to explain that my behavior is relative to my experience, that it has been born of fear, my way of avoiding tragedy. It is my means of survival, all that's left to me, and the only way I know of ducking the inevitable calamities that invariably beset me. My claims are most often ignored, as it is implied that I am a freak, a non-conformist with attitude, and they constantly remind me that no man is an island, my behaviour being intolerable, verging on the insolent. Therefore, as stated earlier, it is perceived to be irrational. I would argue the point ferociously, but after constant haranguing I have always succumbed, for after all is after all is taken into account, loneliness is an awful place in which to dwell, especially when you are on your own. I make no secret of the fact that deep down inside my heart yearns to be part of whatever it is that makes people happy. As I have long longed for happiness, an emotion I've felt rarely out of reach and unobtainable because of my irrational behavior if what I'm told is to believe is to be believed. I have lost count over the years of how many times I have heeded advice to lower the drawbridge of my barricade, expose the world to Joey John Maguire and overcome my issues of trust only to to be, on every occasion, overrun by the hordes of ignorance, all-consuming and baying for my blood, desperate to do me harm. Call me paranoid if you wish, but it is I that sees their behavior as irrational, their minds that are corrupted, filled with selfish greed and lusting for possession. So with the greatest of respect, I asked, that I am allowed my solitude. It does not seek to do harm. I have tried their form of happiness, and it does not suit my sensitivities. I prefer my own company with no offence meant. I understand why my behaviour is perceived to be irrational. I suppose I like viewing things from outside the box, which leaves me on the parameters of society an oddity playing in a circus with the oddest of friends, loneliness and solitude in tow.